a pet. An existence that can heal all the troubles in our lives. At least, that's how my classmates are boasting about their pets lately. I have a rabbit at home. Really? Rabbits are adorable. I have a cat. Cats are great, too. I have a pet, too. Well, what is it? She's the prettiest bee. Huh? Oh, a, a, a bee, you say? D don't you find it scary? Huh? For some reason, they started avoiding me after that. Bees are so cool, though. Hey, is it true you have a bee for a pet? Huh? Yeah, I do. I'm Riku Oishi, a sixth grade in elementary school. <laughs> to think we had such a crazy guy in class. Maybe he was dropped on his head as a baby. You wonder he has no friends. Oh. Uh. Sit down, everyone! Today's the day we're forming the group for the upcoming field trip. Right then. Let's all make groups of four. Yeah. Yes, we have our four. Us too! Uh. I'm so bad at things like this. And I have no close friends here. Good. You all have your groups, right? Huh? You're not the one, Riku? Uh... I was already stressed by not being able to find a group. What to do? You only have three, don't you? Great! Riku can join you then! Huh? And to add fuel to the fire, our homeroom teacher assigned me to the same group as Wataru, the one I get along with the worst in our class. But we snore super loud. I'd pity him for sharing a room with us. Come on, don't be like that. It's not often we go on field trips, you know? Let's all be friends. A kiss. For me, this field trip just became filled with anxieties. Listen to this, Bunta. We were deciding groups for the field trip today, and I got put in the same group as Wataru of all people. I don't think it's going to go well. But you're so nice, Bunta. I wish you could come on the field trip, too. There's a reason I like bees so much. <sighs> I have to get home soon. I'm late because I was hiding from the rain. This is me when I was seven years old. Whoa! Hey! Stop right there! How dare you, spider turn on my car! Huh? I'm sorry. All I could see on his car was a few barely there drops of water. But he doesn't really seem like the forgiving type. I'll have you know this is a new car. What the hell are you doing? What do I do now? <laughs> ah! uh, a bee? Bees are the one thing I can't stand. Miss B, thank you for saving me. To add to his trouble, he had apparently stopped in a no parking spot. Damn it! Now I have to pay the parking ticket too. I've liked bees ever since then. I see them all as my friends. Say, Mom, can I bring Boots along with me on the field trip? I don't see why not. You've been with the bees ever since you were little, after all. Thank you. So, it was decided that I would be taking Boots with me on the field trip. On the day of the field trip, I arrived at school with Boots carefully hidden in my backpack. Now I won't be lonely on the trip. Hello! I'm Keita! And I'll be the one showing you around during this trip! Nice to meet ya! Wow, our tour guide's so lively. Here, do you want some snacks? Wow, look at the view from the train! Wow, look at the view from the train! It's so pretty! Everyone looked like they were having fun without a care in the world. I'm jealous. If I had just one good friend in this class, would I be able to enjoy this like they're doing? The whole sight was actually kind of depressing. I got it! I can watch the scenery with Bunta! See that, Bunta? The view is beautiful, right? Hey, Siriku is serious about having a bee for a friend? And he even brought it on our field trip? What a lonely guy. Hey, let me your bed for a while. No way, you can't have her! I put Boonta back in my backpack as fast as I could. Come on, you're so boring. Phew, being in this group makes me uneasy. Alright, we're gonna head up group by group to put your bags in your rooms. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Don't think I've given up. 
As I watched Riku Cradle's backpack like some sort of precious treasure, all I could think about was that bee. Riku, I think I forgot something in the lobby. Go and take a look for me. Okay. Great, Molly's gone. So this is Riku's friend. Don't you think it'll be dangerous for all of us to have a bee hanging around during the field trip? You're right. It's a hazard. Which means, for our safety, we should let it go somewhere it won't bother us. Open sesame! As I said that, I released the bee outside the window, but... Huh? What? Instead of flying out, it made a beeline straight for me. Why is it flying in my direction? Ah! Stop coming for me! Shoo! 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 Ah! I got stung by it. Ugh! Ew! And then one after the other went after my friends. Oh, uh, I don't even know what I'm looking for. What's wrong? Wataru, my groupmate, asked me to come down and take a look because he thought I forgot something. Huh? That's strange. I was sure I'd pass you all your bags. R really? Maybe it's in his luggage or something. So I returned to our room with empty hands. Wataru, I couldn't find anything. What? Huh? What's going on? When I got back, all three of them were unconscious on the floor for some reason. D don't tell me. Did Bunta do this? D this is bad. I ran to find her teacher right away. Uh, this is... Uh, I got stung by a bee. A uh, bee that Riku brought. Uh, it stung me too. Uh, anyway, let's call an ambulance first. What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Did something happen in Riku's room? Now, now, all of you. Please wait quietly in your rooms. Yes, yes sir. sir. This can't be right. Bunta was supposed to be safely inside my backpack. Uh, oh. Why did this have to happen? i all on the field trip, too. Wataru, are you okay? They told us a beast on you? Mom, Dad! How could this have happened? One of my groupmates, Riku, brought the bee on the field trip in its backpack, and then it escaped its cage! What? How horrible! They'll have to pay us lots of consolation money for this! Wataru, get on this wheelchair! Uh, okay... I see. Good idea! I got called by the school while Riku was supposed to be on his field trip. I rushed to Moroboshi General Hospital as quickly as I could. I didn't think allowing him to bring his bee would cause us much trouble. Mom! Riku, you must have been so scared. How did this happen? I'm sorry. If I hadn't taken Buta with me... Excuse me, are you this boy's mother? That's right. Thanks to him, my son is currently paralyzed from the waist down. P paralyzed Exactly. I demand in compensation of 300 million yen. 300 million? No way. What do I do now? For now, let me inform my husband first. A compensation of 300 million for their son becoming paralyzed. It's a small price to pay for what happened. Hmm? But something smells fishy. When I think about it calmly, Bunta, Riku's bee, it isn't a species with such deadly venom. Wanting to get to the bottom of this, I visited with Tara's hospital room once again. Um, regarding the matter of your compensation... Huh? Uh, this is such a drag. <gasps> the boy in question, who was supposed to be paralyzed from their waist down, was pacing around the room. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Uh, my leg, it hurts! Um, was he paralyzed? Of course! He went through something so terrible and is doing his best at physical therapy. Don't you understand the pain we parents have to go through when something like this happens to your child? Physical therapy doesn't work this fast if I'm not wrong. Anyway, don't think you're getting out of paying that 300 million yen. Faced with this family who refused to budge, I didn't know what I could do to get to the truth of the matter. What's this I hear about someone being paralyzed? But President Moroboshi! I am Moroboshi, the president of an internationally leading conglomerate Moroboshi Group. 
and my hobby is doing business. Also, I'm both a certified doctor and scientist. But Taru's parents are claiming that he's paralyzed from the waist down. Hmm. Huh. That's different from my diagnosis. He has a little localized swelling from the sting, but there are no issues with his health otherwise. I was thinking that Bunta isn't from a species with such strong venom. Easy to say for someone who's not an expert. What do you even know about bees anyway? Actually, I run a parry. I'm around bees every single day, so at the very least I know more about them than you. Hm. Is there anything else? If you think there's any problems with my diagnosis, I'd be happy to discuss further. Uh, it's time we're heading home! Ugh, I can't let them off this easily. I contacted the parents of the other two boys who got stung. Everyone, thank you for coming. It must have been rough for you when your boys were hurt recently. If we leave things as they are, our children would have been hurt for nothing. That's right, we have to make them pay. Apparently, their house is an entire bee farm. We don't want our boys to get hurt again, so we have to act first and get rid of it. We were thinking this truck should be big enough for all their bees. Yeah, yeah. Nice going. This one and this one too. We're not leaving a single one behind. We can take these too, right? Of course, we're taking everything. Load them all into the truck. In the blink of an eye, we had reduced the bee farm to an empty patch of land. Now there will be any more danger to our children. Be careful with the disposal, darling. Got it. Great, exactly as planned. Now then, let's go see how the bees are doing today. I'm coming too. I knew we could count on you. I help my parents to take care of the bees at the apiary every day too, but... What's going on? Our bees are gone! But without them, where's the honey going to come from? Mom and Dad descended into pure panic for a few moments, but then... I'll go see if whoever did this left anything in our office! Uh, I'll look for any traces that might be able to tell us who it was! How on earth did this happen? Just as Mom and I were combing the field with a fine tooth comb... Hello, we meet again! Y you are! Suddenly, Wataru's parents appeared with several others in tow. Regarding the compensation money, I redid the calculations. 100 million yen. Pay up, please. 100 million? Don't forget my kid. Mine too! But your son wasn't paralyzed. Don't you think this is too much? Still, it can't be denied that the bee who injured him belonged to you. Y you can't be serious. In the first place, I have bigger issues right now. What's this? Trying to run away? I'm not letting that happen this time. Uh, just when Mom was put on the spot by your unfair accusations. Hey, I heard that all your bees disappeared, Mrs. Oishi. President Moroboshi! President Moroboshi popped out of nowhere yet again. What is he doing here? Well, doesn't matter. President Moroboshi, thank you for taking care of us at the hospital after Riku's bee caused all the trouble. In order to make sure it doesn't happen again, we disposed of all the dangerous stinging creatures they were keeping, so please don't worry. Huh? Unbelievably, we found out what happened from the culprit herself. I see. So that was what happened. Don't you two know the value of the honey this farm produces? Honey isn't that expensive. I'm sure they'll be just fine without it. Really? At that moment... President Morboshi! Thank you for coming all the way here! I'm calculating our losses now. Great, because the ones who took your bees are standing here right now. Huh? You did it?! Oh, it's just honey anyway. And people's safety should always take priority. We don't want anyone else to get stung after all. So, what's the damage? I've only done a rough calculation, but it's around a hundred million. That's better than I imagined. After all, 
This is the only apiary that produces the highly coveted Monica honey. It's been a long time since I fell in love with Monica honey. The honey that Riku's father discovered and made an entire brown dad of. This is great honey! Because it's good for the throat, we can buy it as an option for the talents we have under Muro Dust Management. I'm sure they'll love it too. Thank you very much, President Morbushi! With that said, you'll need to compensate us 100 million yen for our losses. What? Also, after glancing through this consolation money request, I'm afraid it's not legally valid. How long will it take us to pay back 100 million? No! After that, Monica Honey became a hot topic on the news for several consecutive days, which means it became a hot topic in my class, too. Your family's a producer of that super high-end branded honey, right? I can't believe you actually take care of all this bees! That's so cool! Thanks to my family's bees, I finally managed to make friends in my class. Thank you, Bunta. Be careful not to get stung too, everyone! Don't forget to like and subscribe! Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too! Drop a line in the comments below! See you soon!